So what if I told you that the highest paid male model has a big ass nose? Well, it's true. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. 37 year old David Gandhi is worth at least $16 million and it's no secret He's got a big ass honker. <laughs> now I'm not making fun of the guy. He is a super handsome looking dude. I would damn near trade my face for his. That's how good looking he is. But it just goes to show you how irrelevant the nose actually is. Now I know a lot of you guys are thinking, man, I hate my nose. It's too wide. It has too much of a hump. What can I do to make it smaller? Well, you have a few options. If you actually want to permanently change the shape of your nose, you can a, get a rhinoplasty where they slice your nose open, flip the skin up, shave out the bone, flip your skin back down and then sew it back up. Or you could B, get a needle stabbed into it, squirting injections into your nose, which won't actually take any size away from your nose. It's just adding artificial filling to your nose, which could end up in places you don't want to make your nose look like a damn russet potato, which I severely don't recommend. And then we've got the facial exercises, which kind of show a little bit of promise, but would probably take months to years to see even a millimeter of change in your nose. So I don't really recommend those either, but here's what you can do. I've got a list of some tips and tricks that you could do to give the illusion of a smaller, more shapely nose. Now keep in mind, these aren't actually changing the size of your physical nose. They're just some strategic ways that you could take the attention from your nose and distribute it amongst the rest of your face. So let's get right into it. All right, tip number one is to grow out and correctly groom your eyelashes and eyebrows. The more shapely and vibrant eyelashes and eyebrows you have are gonna kind of distract the attention from your nose and bring them up to your eyes where you actually want people looking in the first place. So for one, make sure you have your eyelashes and eyebrows nicely groomed. And if you kind of lack in volume in that area, there's actually two serums that you could buy called rapid brow and rapid lash which you just apply daily and they have components in them that actually stimulate growth in your eyelashes and eyebrows and force them to grow to their genetic potential so i'll link those down below i've seen some awesome results from them from people that watch my videos i actually thought about doing a 30-day challenge where i apply it every day and compare and contrast what i looked like before and after so if this video gets 10,000 likes then i'll do that challenge so hit the like button the next thing you could do is add volume to your hair because the more you got going on up here the less people are gonna look down here right so the best thing you could do for your hair is to blow dry it in the morning it's not girly it's not gay it's none of that stuff it's just gonna give you some sweet volume make your hair like nice thick and texturized number three you guys are gonna be a little bit surprised by but it's having a wider jaw Believe it or not, you can change the shape of your face. And I've made multiple videos about this before, so I'll link some of those down below too. But the main things that it comes down to is losing fat. Because if you have fatty face, you're going to have a more narrow, more melted look to your face. But if you lose some weight, get that chiseled look going, as well as you can exercise these muscles right here called the master muscles. And the more you develop those, just like any other muscle, they're gonna get bigger and stronger, a more wide look to your face. So that's number three, work on your jaw. Next is having some facial hair. Same as up top, if you got a little something going on down here, you know, maybe above your lip, it's gonna give you a more uniform look to your face. And it's gonna give your face some POIs, points of interest, some places where the eye can wander to. If all you got going on is your nose and you're clean shaven, you got none of, nothing else going on, you have no choice but to look at your nose, right? So get at least a little bit of stubble. I think you definitely have to have a little something going on above your lip and it's definitely gonna make a huge difference in the way your face looks if you got a developed nose. All right, my last tip for you guys for your nose, definitely the most important, it's own it. Own it. I love a big nose and what I love more is a dude that can just rock it, man. I have more respect for dudes that have flaws and just embrace that than I do for guys that have none and just think they're all that, you know? And I think girls feel the same way. I often hear girls saying that they don't want the perfect pretty boy. So if you got a couple little things going on, then I think that's actually a good thing. One of the things I got going on is I got a mature hairline. I don't think it's really receding. Maybe it will, but 
as you can see, I don't have that Alex Costa bloom on hairline, right? I actually love it because it makes me look a little bit more mature, makes me stand out a bit. And I love just owning that. And I think you should too, if you got a big nose. So yeah, guys, if you got a big nose, be the big nose guy, man. Rock that shit. Maximize what you can do with the rest of your face to give you a nice, unique look. But other than that, just accept it and move on. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn post notifications on. And until next time, peace out.